Howdy, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the Apple TV Season Pass Jailbreak for a 4.3. This is an untethered jailbreak, folks. You have all your ports on your Apple TV, your power, your HDMI, your optical audio, your Ethernet. Hence, it makes the perfect, believe me, believe me when I say this, it makes the perfect home theater, media center hub thing, whatever you want to call it. If you have this, this is the key to unlocking your Apple TV. This is a USB micro cable. Now, it's not a mini cable. It's quite a bit different. Well, not much, but you see that port here? It's quite a bit thinner than your traditional USB micro or mini cable. So if you have this, then you're going to be able to unlock the power that is inside that Apple TV. And trust me, it is powerful, folks. So you're going to need this. It looks just like a normal USB port on the other side. And this plugs into your Mac so that you can jailbreak your Apple TV too. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All you need to do is plug in your USB micro cable into the back of your Mac. This is for a Mac, this tutorial. Uh, the same thing can be applied to Windows. You can do the same thing on Windows, but I'm just going to show you here on the Mac. And just plug the other end into the Apple TV too, just like so. Just make sure you put it in the right way because yeah okay there you go so it plugs in right under the HDMI cable and you should see the light flashing like this right here on your Apple TV too once you have it plugged in so the hard parts over folks so let me just show you exactly where you can get the jailbreak from once you plug it in you should notice it here under iTunes make sure iTunes does recognize your Apple TV just like this it's that simple so now once iTunes has indeed recognized the Apple TV, all you need to do is hop over to Google and I'm going to show you where you can actually find the jailbreak. It's called Season Pass. So all you need to do is type in to Google search Season Pass with a zero for the O in Season, just like this. So once you find that, you'll see some links for Season Pass. Just click the first link and you'll see FireCore's website and that's where you can obtain season pass for both the Mac and Windows. But I'm going to show you the Mac version of course. Here it is for 10.6 or later so this will work on Lion. Season Pass provides an untethered jailbreak for the latest 4.3 firmware so that's really the biggie here. You don't have to worry about the whole tethered boot thing. That makes jailbreaking the Apple TV a lot easier believe me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I've already downloaded this but you can download the links from here so or you can find the download links from here. So now, once you download the file, you should see a Season Pass zip folder in your Downloads folder. I have it here on my desktop. You want to just unzip that, and then you should see a little thing that looks like a ticket, and that's actually Season Pass. So just double-click on the ticket, or double-click on Season Pass. You should see the dialog here for Open. Type in your administrator password, and then you'll see an option for Create IPSW. And then you'll also see this Boot Tethered option. Don't worry about that. This is an untethered jailbreak. Just single-click on create IPSW and you're good to go. So now it's just going to do its thing. All you need to do is just sit back, relax, and watch your, well, you're not going to really see much, but your Apple TV is going to be jailbroken here. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And then eventually you should see it ask you to put your Apple TV into DFU mode right here. So it's waiting for device um, to enter DFU mode. Now to do this, you just make sure your USB is connected, which you already did. And then you want to press the menu and play button for seven seconds as denoted here. So I have my remote. You will need your remote to do this folks. Now all you need to do is just press and hold the menu and the play button on the front of your Apple TV remote. Just hold them there for at least seven seconds. I'm going to do it a little longer just to make sure I did it. Now, pressing and holding now. So I'll start counting down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we should be able to let go of our remote and then you'll see on the dialog on your season pass menu where it found the device in DFU mode and it's gonna do its thing here. So just sit back, relax. You don't have to do a thing from this point on. All right, so uh, you're gonna see a folder open here, iTunes as well, and it's going to actually find the the custom firmware that it creates by itself. You don't even have to do anything. And then it's preparing the Apple TV, restoring the Apple TV. It's pretty much just like the iPhone jailbreak. I mean, or when you do like a custom firmware with Ponage tool, it's pretty much the same thing. All right. So now it's done. 
and you'll see your iTunes load up. It'll say it's been restored to factory settings because this doesn't know the difference between this firmware and any other firmware. It just knows it restored. So then you'll see your season pass restored successful. You can just click done here. And once you click done, you can go up to your season pass menu and quit season pass. And we can actually delete season pass and the zip folder because we're done with those folks. But of course, that's not really all because in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use ATV Flash Black to install apps on your Apple TV. You don't want to miss this. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.